Good morning, everyone. Wayne Bolden. It is hump day. It is Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great week uh, up to this point. Of course, this is a long uh, holiday weekend coming up with Memorial Day. So wish each and every one of you a, a happy uh, Memorial Day for sure. And of course, as always, turn your closed captions on. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell. Do the things you do for your Speed King. And remember, of course, our tip sheets will be available this weekend. Uh, all stakes, 15 bucks, uh, as we head towards two weeks out uh, from the Belmont Stakes up in Saratoga. You can email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. If you want them, please put in orders early. I'm going to go away this weekend. I'm going to get a little R&R, &R, three or four days down on the Jersey Shore starting on a Friday. I'm going to go a little disco dancing. Listen to a little Bee Gees or something like that. Or Cameo, you know, you know funk it up a little bit. Okay, as always. Hey, we want to take a look at a steak race uh, over at Churchill Downs. Uh, the Cortana Steaks, right? It's for fillies and mares, four-year-olds and up, 250000 It's on the lawn, y'all. That's right. They're going a mile and a half. Hey, it's a small field. I think it's a field of seven. Um, Let me make sure. Yeah, a field of seven. Going to give you our top two or three picks in here, and I'm going to go right to my top pick, Vergara, right? Uh, Vergara, the number five horse uh, in this race. To me, uh, a little weakness for this horse uh, is by Noble Mission on the back end by one of my favorite horses, Street Cry, the old Irish, Ireland bred Street Cry for sure. Hey, trained by Motion Graham for sure, and Graham Motion. Uh, Jose Ortiz is in the arms. This is a very, very nice uh, five year old mare. Five wins from si uh, four wins from 16 starts. Excuse me, two seconds and five thirds. Okay, now likes to hit the board a bunch. 11 out of 16 is an awfully tight record and comes out of a race to be which stakes on the uh, 26th of April over at Keeneland. And quite a few of them came out of this race. Uh, well, Regara is a type of a speed horse, finished third that day. Okay, behind a couple in here like Chop Chop and I believe Atomic Blondie. I have to double check when I go through these, right? But if you ask me, uh, by the way, Vergara was the favorite in that race, right? Uh, ran third, didn't run bad, but was away for almost five months. The last time Vergara ran was in uh, Aqueduct on November 12th over there at the Long Island Stakes. This was the return race after five months, so very much may have needed that race on April 26, making the five-year-old debut. The horse should be tighter now, got a race under his belt. I like horses doing anything the second time for sure. Second race off of the layoff and uh, four weeks in between the April 26 race and of course the 25th of this month's about four weeks that's perfect I think you'll uh, give a better account I think she'll give a better account in this race for sure and hopefully we can get a little square price because she got beat in the bewitch stakes over there at Keeneland back there on April 26 for sure so our top pick is the number five horse Vegara think this horse is going to be close, close to the pace. Don't necessarily have to be on the lead. But if she gets the lead, she's going to be tough with that tightener under her belt after a five, five and a half month layoff for sure. Our top pick for sure, Vigara. Well, she better be getting up because the number two horse, I tell you now, I like this horse's name. Chop, 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 chop. Right? The number two Chop Chop is by City of Light. That's right. I believe a Breeders' Cup uh, winner, City of Light, the sire at the mall at the Breeders' Cup. Eh, 2016, somewhere in there, for sure. On the back end by Giant Causeway. Well, Chop Chop is a very, very fine four-year-old filly. This one's got a very, very nice future, for sure. Two wins from four starts this year. Two seconds. Has not failed to hit the board this year in four starts. Two wins, two seconds. That's awfully nice for sure. And overall, she has five wins from 15 starts, five seconds, and two-thirds. That's 12 out of 15 in the money, and five of them are wins. She's got a bright, bright future for sure. Trained by, you got it, it's Brad Cox and his band of Merry Horses. That's for sure. Axe is in the arms, and uh, this is a very, very nice horse. And this is the one that beat them all in the Bewitch on the 26th of April for sure. So she earned a beautiful...
beautiful speed figure. She sat right behind, covered up uh, the speed in that race, uh, and ran by Vergara and a couple other of these in here. And I don't see why she would run any worse, right? This is a serious, serious racehorse. And, of course, this one is probably the one to beat. Four-year-old, hey, making a nice, nice uh, uh, making of her four-year-old uh, campaign so far. Two wins from four starts in two seconds. Brad Cox, everything is systems or go. There is impossible to leave Chop Chop off of your ticket. She's going to be extremely tough and a serious, serious win contender for sure in here. Make her our second pick, but she'll be on all of our uh, horizontal plays for sure. Not leaving Chop Chop off. The number two horse. Our third pick. Well, we're going to round it out with that old Atomic Blondie, right? Well, Atomic Blondie is no different. Also came out of the Bewitched Stakes, ran second. So in the Bewitched Stakes, um, uh, Brad Cox Horse ran first, of course, Chop Chop. Uh, Atomic Blondie ran second. And, of course, our top pick, Regara, who we thought needed a race, uh, ran third. So it's a rematch of the Bewitched Stakes. But, hey, Atomic Blondie don't have to apologize. This is another five-year-old mare uh, by Gray uh, Gatsby, for sure, by the uh, Gray Gatsby. And uh, this was a nice horse. Three wins from 19 starts. Don't win a whole bunch, but run second and third a lot. Five seconds, four thirds. That being said, this one is trained by the Hall of Famer and, of course, the turf guy. Hey, Christopher Clement knows what he's doing for sure, and you have the services of Tala Gaffleon. Atomic Blondie, again, ran third or second in the Bewitched Stakes, right behind the number two horse, Chop Chop, for sure. That's going to be our third pick. It looks like a rematch of that stake race over there at Keeneland. On April 26th. If we were to round out our super factor in here, why not go ahead and use the Billy Mott runner, not the Billy Mott runner, his son Raleigh Mott, right? Sands and Seas, right? Well, this is really an allowance horse and a, a handicap horse. This here is a six-year-old. She's not that bad. I mean, Liam's map, she's 0 for 2 this year, only hit the board once in three starts. Overall, five starts from 19, three seconds and four thirds. Perfect horse, in my opinion, to use under Underneath in tries and super factor. That is the number six horse, Sand and C for sure. So there it is over there at beautiful Churchill. 250,000. The girls are in town on the turf on this Saturday for sure. We're going to see if Vergara can tighten these down after being beaten by both Chop Chop and Atomic Blondie last time, right? Think that she needed this race. You might see the real Vergara come out here. So our top pick is the number five horse. Our second pick is that talented, talented four-year-old, the old Chop Chop, and Brad Cox and his band, the Big Head Horses. He's got a merry horse. Brad knows what he's doing for sure, right? We always keep an eye on him. Rounding it out with uh, Atomic Blondie, and our fourth pick will be, of course, Sands and Seas. So for us, five, two, four, six. Just like that. Go ahead and box it up, which is always what you always need to do. I need to tell myself that. Find the box button and then play whatever it is you're playing and how you plan it if you can, for sure. If I had two to take in here, it would be the number five horse and the number two horse. I think both of them are just extremely good here. For me, it's five, two, two, five all day long. I'm gonna keep the gap after I hit the box button. My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your Speed King. Let's see what these girls do over there at beautiful Churchill on Saturday as we head into our first real holiday summer weekend, the Memorial Day. Always a great time. Going out dancing a little bit, folks, for sure. Going to get a little R&R. &R. Going to take three or, three or four days. Friday, I'm going to take off a little bit on Friday and just uh, relax the rest of the weekend and over Memorial Day. And I do a little cookout. But can always can be reached by speedking24 at yahoo.com. And of course, you can text the office. Text the office, 732-804-0637. Stay classy, y'all. Enjoy your Memorial Day. And most of all, be safe. But have a bunch of fun.